Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the time I've been waiting for. I get to decorate for Halloween. Yay! So excited. Okay, so this is what I've collected through the years. Some of it I've made, some of it I've bought, some of it I've thrifted. I'm going to pull out quite a few of my favorite pieces and I'm going to show you them in the first part of this video. In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you my apothecary jars. Not high make them, but the ones that I've made in the past that you guys have asked to see. So, first part of this video, there we go. I pulled out some of my favorite pieces. I know it looks like a lot, but we're going to go through this fast. So, stay with me. Don't forget, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Let's get started. We're going to go through this fast. I don't want this to be a extremely, ooh, my crow just fell. Extremely long video, so I'm just going to go through and I'm going to share with you a few things. Um, a few things I made, a few things I bought. One of my favorite things is this. Home Sweet Haunted Home. Got this from Big Lots last year. I absolutely love this. I love it. So definitely going to be using that. I went through my Halloween decor and I separated it into my items that I purchased or made. And then I separated my apothecary jars. This is going to be a little bit long, but it's going to be fun. I, trust me, stick around. Stay till the end. You're going to like it. <laughs> the second part of this video will be my apothecary jars, which I've been promising to show you guys. So this is stuff, like I said, I purchased. I got this gorgeous skull from CVS, actually, and it is amazing. I just love this skull. And my sister gave me this little spell book. It's kind of dinged up, but I like that. It adds to, you know, if you're a witch and your house isn't perfect, right? You got a few dings. <laughs> so it's super cute. My sister also sent me these candlesticks that are so unique. There's two of them. How cool is that? So I'm going to find a way to incorporate that this year I actually found this you guys know I love ravens I actually found that at Goodwill really excited about that don't even have to do anything to it and then this one I actually made I found the frame at Goodwill I printed off the ravens cure and then added some embellishments a spell book didn't have to paint the frame it was already black so I think that's going to be a cute addition. Where to start? Where to start? These are probably from the Dollar Tree. Everybody needs rats. I'm going to show you the unique way I decorate with my rats. And I don't remember where I got this from. But oh my goodness. It's a pig. He's so cute. I decorate mostly in my kitchen and my um, family room, so he will go good. Everybody needs just an abundance of skulls. Here's another skull. And then, where did I, oh, I got this from Marshalls because I absolutely love the color of this pumpkin and it says spooky. That was very cute. Like I said, I'm gonna try to go fast. This. I think was from Dollar General or Big Lots. I'm not sure. It's a doorbell. And the kids absolutely love this. <laughs> and these, where did they come from? CVS. Very cute. You can find some really cute Halloween decor at CVS, and they're just black signs, but they go really well once you put it all together. Oh, you can see my hands, sorry. And then a pumpkin that says Wicked. Some spiders. You'll see what I do with this. Set those aside. My spell book, I actually made this out of an old book, painted it, added some embellishments to it. We all need a spell book, right? 
And what's next? I love ravens. This is my little raven. So cute. Got him off of eBay. And this is my bigger raven with the red eyes. I actually got him at Lowe's. Really cute. I love decorating with ravens. You're not going to believe this, but I got this and I got that from Goodwill. That was a great Goodwill find. I got this little Salem's Apothecary sign off of eBay last year because I'm going to do my cabinet with all my apothecary jars and this sign is just perfect to use. And then I got the scroll also off of eBay. Give you a close up. I love this scroll. That's going to hang above my cabinet too. I'm going to do a come decorate with me video so you guys will be able to see how I put all this in my home. I have had this guy for years. It says haunted house. I always use him. He's sentimental. Why am I calling him him? It's a sign. <laughs> I always use it. I don't even, I, it, that sign's probably 15, 20 years old. Couldn't tell you where I got it. Got some skull candlesticks. They light up. Put a battery in them. This I made. You know I love Hocus Pocus. I got the stand from Michaels and I printed out the black flame candle and just uh, Mod Podged it to this stand and I put it next to my black flame candle which is this guy. Just a regular candlestick, regular candle and I put some black ribbon around it and a spider and to make the black fit flame, this is actually pillow stuffings that I hot glued to the top of the candle and spray painted it black to mimic the black flame. And I just put it on my candlestick next to that sign. I got this from Goodwill. I probably should have waited and showed you this in my next part of this video, but it says poison. I fill it with green um, water and I put it with some green, I think I have green glasses, kind of like a witch's potion type thing. Put that in my kitchen. This might've come from, where did it come from? You know, you collect through the years, so I don't know where everything came from, I'm sorry. Gosh, yeah, I don't remember where I got it, but it's super cute. My girlfriend gave me this Fearless Black Cat Soap. And I actually found this stand at Goodwill and it's perfect to put it on. Got some more candlesticks, skulls. Cute, cute, cute. And this necklace that has skulls all over it. I found these two jars from a thrift store. I bought them because I love the old, it just screamed Halloween to me. And then in the bigger one, I just have like a hand. I think this was an old hand from years, years, years ago that my husband got from work. Um, so the hand goes in there. It just gives it a real creepy but vibe. And then I got a smaller one. And it also has a hand in it, which I'm not going to take out because it's really hard to put back in. Last year from Big Lots, I got this clock.
and I got this. It has a scary face in there. I don't have batteries in it, I don't think. No, no batteries. I'll show you that in the Come Decorate With Me video. I got this phone from Big Lots. It also does something. I gotta put batteries in it. And I got these two candle operas, which I love decorating with candle operas, from the thrift store. Paint spray painted in black. I also have another candle opera that I have not done anything to. I think I might leave it that I got from a thrift store this year. <coughs> I got these skulls from Big Lots last year when they went on sale. Big Lots had a huge sale, like 70 or 80% off that I took advantage of. And I got this little guy from Big Lots. Oh no, you know what? I didn't get him from Big Lots. I got him from Marshalls. So cute. I think I might put him on a candlestick. So that's just some of the stuff I wanted to show you for decoration wise. Now I'm going to show you my apothecary jars that I've been promising you. Okay, for part two of this video, this is the part I've been waiting to show you guys because I'm so excited. I love these jars. They're so easy to make. I am going to do a tutorial. I just haven't had time. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to share with you ones I've made through the years. Real quick, I know it looks like a lot, but we're going to go through this quick. This is my all-time favorite one. It's called Maggot Wash. I actually got this. Usually I get my jars from Goodwill, thrifting, garage sales. I got this one from Hobby Lobby because I wanted this style of jar. Um, I ordered a bunch of apothecary jar stickers off of eBay. So this actually is a sticker I ordered and it was self-adhesive, which yes, that was amazing. And what I did is I actually put, hopefully you can see it, rice and shampoo. Now, if you wanna recreate this jar, do not use rice and water unless you want the real authentic, real deal maggot wash smell and all. I made that mistake. After two days, it smelled like maggot wash. It was so gross. Use hand soap, clear. Use shampoo. It gives it the, when you shake it up, you get the bubbles and it looks like wash. Use hand sanitizer, anything but water. So that is maggot wash. And I just put some twine around the top. A lot of these are just simple, you know. Simple, easy peasy, like this jar I got from Dollar Tree and I printed off, all right, let me make sure I'm showing you. I printed off the um, label, it says cold cream. You can Google um, apothecary labels. There's a ton of printable labels. Click on images and you will find these labels. And then I, what did I put? I th think I actually put like lotion in this one to make it look like cold cream. Like I said, they're easy to make. Like this one, I got this jar from Goodwill and all I did was put a poison sticker and done. I don't want them all to have things in them. I like them to have things in them because that gives it the effect, but I don't want all of them. I want Miss, uh, can't speak, you guys. Um, just different variety. Like that one. I love this jar. I got this from the flea market. And I printed off this Wicked Sisters printable and just stuck it on. Didn't put anything in it. Number one, what would I put in it? I'm not really sure even what I would put in it. But some of your apothecary jars can be empty. You know, I'll have to have stuff in them. This is an old, um, probably pizza sauce jar. And I painted the top green, I added some tool, and I printed off this witch hazel printable, and I just used a marker and painted it green. And this might be hand sanitizer in here. 
just to give it the effect. This one is cool. This is actually a flower and pepper in here. And it says dark of night, cursed bone dust. Make sure you guys can see it. I love the top of this. I think this jar I actually purchased when I was in Michigan at, I think it was at a, um, uh, I went blank, like a pastry shop. And it was, I love the color. It's like a peachy color, so I thought that would be cool. And I put the label on. This was one of the uh, ones I bought off of eBay. I think I spent like $5 and got like 20 of uh, these apothecary labels that were stickers off of eBay. So it really wasn't that expensive. I got this jar from Goodwill. It's a pink color. The eyeballs came from CVS after Halloween when they went on sale. And the sticker is another eBay sticker. It says Cursed Eyes. I want you guys to be able to see these, but the light is not being my friend right now. This one says Squid Ink. I got this jar from Hobby Lobby. And I put, I don't want to really tip it, but I want you guys to be able to see. Can you, there we go. Can you see that in there? I put noodles. Noodles and some blue dye. I love this one. This is Mermaid Tears. Um, this this little wooden piece I either got from Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby and I Mod Podge the um, label onto it. And then I put an embellishment on the top. What are those? You can get them at Dollar Tree in a big bag of pearls, I call them. And then these are just little white um, for jewelry. Just little beads. And I put some blue glitter in there to make it look like mermaid tears. I didn't know what to do with this. I'm not happy with this. This is like jewelry that I put. I wanted it to make a like a girly one. Uh, I didn't do a very good job, but I don't know. It gives it a different effect than my other jars. This says nonsense blend. I liked the pink and I was trying to make it foo-foo. <laughs> I didn't do a good job with my foo foo, did I? But it's fine. This one was a blue jar, and that was the label off of eBay. Stuck it to it. Didn't have to do anything else because it was already blue. I got this one from Goodwill, and it actually, I think it was nautical jar, so it already had this on it. So that's a printable. And it says used spider web. And I just put spider web from Dollar Tree and hot glued some spiders on it. Little mermaid, I was trying to go foo foo again. Yeah, I'm, I'm not good with foo foo. Give me farmhouse all day or scary, I can do it. Foo foo, mm, not so much. So we just put that jar in the back. <laughs> this one is a cute one. This is just a little jar. Um, it says black cat fur on it. And can anybody guess what is in here? What do you think that is? Ew. Have you guessed? It's dryer lint. But I thought it looked like black cat fur. So I took a whole bunch of dryer lint and shoved it in the bottle. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess when I say it out loud, it's kind of gross, but it really looks like black cat fur. Again, I didn't put anything in this one, and I put the label inside. I didn't even attach it, and it says Witch's Brew, and I showed you these embellishments that I had gotten off of eBay, all different, like, I think they're jewelry. Um, got a whole bunch of them, so I added a witch to it and just put some ribbon around or twine, black twine. When I'm at Goodwill, I also look for these kind of jars. I look for jars that are already filled. Now, this year I actually got burnt because a few of them leaked. And I didn't think they would because, and I'll show you one that didn't leak. Um, it had wax sealing the top. And I was so bummed because they were ones that were kind of my favorites. And they ruined a couple other jars. But... 
This, I think, is bath salt, and it was already in there, so I put zombie toxin on it. So it's actually fun to go to Goodwill and find these ones that are full. I would recommend when you put them away for Halloween, standing them up. Make sure none of them are laying flat so that they don't ruin any of your other jars. This is probably a wine bottle, and it was already painted at Goodwill. So I just added a sticker to it. Like I said, I like the variety. I like the different looks, the different size jars, the different things that you can do to them. This one is one of them that actually kind of got a little ruined with the other jars. It, I salvaged it, but yeah, it got a little wet. And these are plastic cockroaches. And it says Madagascar cockroach on the front. And I just put some twine. Easy peasy. This one says dead man's toes. This is a spaghetti jar. And these toes, or these are probably fingers, but they look like toes. You can get at probably Dollar Tree or any Halloween store. So I put dead man's toes in there. This says corrosive sublimate. I don't know what that means, but I had these little flies. Let's see if you can see them. <laughs> and I just filled it in there. Doesn't really go with the sticker, but that's okay. This one says seahorse noses. And I had this little broom I just ripped pieces off of, and I put those in there. I'm running out of... I have a little table next to me that I'm transferring. And this one is cute. This says monkey bones. This you can find at Goodwill. And I put the skeleton garland and some moss in here so that you can see the bones. I'm going to have to start putting some of these over here. Another Goodwill jar it says raven's feathers. I filled it with some feathers. Hot glued a feather on top. I love the shape of the jar. This one, I didn't want to be on the camera and I keep going in it. This, I actually, I think this is a bath salt or whatever, bath beads. This was already filled from Goodwill. So I put imp scales on it because I thought that it looked like imp scales. This is a salad dressing. I just put the, some paint on the inside and put embellishments on it. And it says uh, rough, rough or rats on it. And it's just a green jar. Dried scorpions. Put some scorpions in there. I hot glued some of them to the top so they look like they're trying to escape. This one is bat wings and I put bay leaves in there because I thought the bay leaves look like bat wings or dried up bat wings who knows this I got from Goodwill and it already had this nasty potpourri in it <laughs> and it says evil eye mucus ew and put some twine around the top Easy peasy, didn't even have to do anything because it was already filled. Like I said, if you can find jars at Goodwill, try to find ones that have dry ingredients in them. That way they don't leak all over. This was a Goodwill bottle. It already had this in it. No idea what it is. It looked like slime. So I put a tag on it that said slime of snail. This was one of my bottles that got ruined. I was able to salvage it. The tag did look a lot better before, but that's okay. You know, it's supposed to look old and vintage. I got this bottle from Goodwill. I put dragon fire sticker on it. And this is actually stuffing out of a pillow. And I used red hair dye, like out of the can that you spray for Halloween on kids' hair, to make the fire. And just pulled some of the pillow stuffings to come out the top. This one says Baby Dragon Scales. It was a green bottle that I had found. And these are just those that you get at Dollar Tree. I just put it in 
because you can kind of see them. Plus the bottom of this bottle is really cool and it looks like dragon scales. So I thought that would work out great. A lot of my ideas come from what the bottle looks like. I see a bottle and I know exactly what sticker I want to put on it and exactly what I want to put in it. I'm going to move you guys over for a second. I think this was at Dollar General. It was a really pretty purple bottle and I put a witch sticker on it. This is a I think it was a, it looks like one of the 40 ounces. I don't know. I probably got it from Goodwill. And it says hexed scarecrow remains. And I just put some moss in there. And I again took apart one of those uh, skeleton garlands to put in there in between the moss. Because I think, and then I put a spell book on top of it because it's hexed. This is a cider jug. I put some red paint on the inside and did that so it went all around and I put an ogre blood sticker on it. This is cool. Um, it's a candy jar. And I put some just brown packing paper on top of it. And it says Black of Night Cemetery Dirt. And then... You guys can use dirt, whatever you want to make it look like cemetery dirt. They actually, at my husband's job, um, have sand that they put their plaster casts in. And some of the plaster will break off into the sand. So it actually looks like bones in the dirt. So I just got lucky there that I was had access to something that actually looked like cemetery dirt. All right, over here. I'm going to try to get this in the shot. This is an old black vase I had. And then these are just some flowers. Probably that I got from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I spray painted them black except for one I spray painted red. Because the printable on here, and I just have it attached with um, curtain cord. It says Curse of the Red Rose. And I have that hanging from it. Sorry, I'm gonna try to do my best. So that's why there's only one red rose in here. So I thought that was kind of cool. These jars I got from an antique store and I'm not doing anything to them because they're vintage and dirty and just disgusting. Look at that, ugh, perfect for the apothecary cabinet. I'm not doing, this is my favorite one because of the lid. I think it's an eyedropper. It actually has stuff in it. Um, but yeah, I got all of these little jars at a thrift store and they're rusted and they're filthy and I just absolutely adore them. And I put them in between my jars and my apothecary cabinet. Last but not least is my poison apple. And I'm going to give you a close-up of this because I know I'm not going to be able to get it in, all in the shot. But I printed this off on Google Images. All right, so I had to stand up to show you this because there's so many components to this. This, we'll start with this. That's just a little bitty vase that I found at Goodwill, painted it, flipped it over, and put it on a glass vase. I found a glass vase that had a ridge at the top. So this is not two pieces. This is all part of the vase. I just painted that part black. And this, I don't know what this was. It was just a flat, like, terracotta piece that I found at Goodwill. And I used that for the base. And then just a vintage candlestick that I got at Goodwill. So I used E6000 in hot glue. I glued this part to the candlestick flipped over my vase, painted the top, found a little bitty vase, took the hot glue on top, and then put some moss and this plastic green apple that I got off of eBay. I'm gonna give you a close up of the poison apple. It says, one taste of the poison apple in the victim's eyes will close forever in sleeping death. 
And I just love, love, love that poison apple stand. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Halloween decorations and my all of my abundance of apothecary jars that I have made through the years. I'm going to take three um, jars that I got this year and show you how to make three apothecary jars soon. That video will be coming up soon. But I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned. The next video will be how I decorate my house and you can come with me while I decorate. So as always, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up so I know I'm doing it right. And I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. See y'all soon, guys. Bye.